All right, well, we are here at the shop today. It is Wednesday. I've decided for the month of September that I am not doing Wednesday sales. Um, but I decided a few hours ago that I'm having a Sunday pop-up sale. So, not doing Wednesday sales, but I'm gonna have a pop-up sale on September 3rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, in addition to my September 10th sale and my September 29th sale that I currently have scheduled and whatnot. It is a clear the shelves sale. So my goal today is to go in there, look at what we have on the shelves, select some items, and potentially clear what I have on the shelves and move forward because you guys know that um, I have stuff that's just been sitting around for a while. Not the top shelf. We don't want to touch the top shelf. The top shelf is like mascots and things that we like looking at. But you know, the the, the middle shelves, we'll, we'll take a peek at those and <laughs> maybe move some of that along. So, all right, let's head in and uh, see what we've got. All right, <laughs> so if this is what we're working with. Ta-da. Um, over here, I've had this here for a while. This is like a frosted glass dove. I will probably photograph better over here the black box. Let me switch on the light here. Put that in here. I don't, I don't know if this is just a dish or what the purpose of this is. Some of these are actually for pipes, pipe holders. I don't think this is. So we're going to put that in there. And then I have this. This has been hanging out for a while. I think this is, obviously it's carved and hand painted. I think it's like a folk art. It's artwork. Definitely has some age. Pansies. I'm just going to hold on to this one as well. This was going to be mine. I've decided that if something sits around long enough and doesn't make its way into my collection, then it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> These fish always have so I have two fish left. Um, there was one that I really liked that like was the first one Kate showed me. Um, I was really given the side eye. <laughs> Dude, I think it was this one. The side eye kissy face. I think this is, I'm gonna hold on to this one for a minute. Sorry guys. Move him over one shelf and we're, we're gonna list this one. He's still great. He's just not given that side eye kissy face. So it is marked on the back. I was never able to identify who the maker is on this. So I'll start putting stuff over on this shelf. This was never paid for on the other place. And um, I forgot to start it over there, so I think I'll sell that. Here, this was paid for, so that needs to be shipped out. I forgot to list this, so we can sell that. I had it for $12 over in my booth. These bells. I've struggled with these for a while because... Again, I don't know who makes them, I don't know their origin story, but I thought they were something good. But it's time to move them along, because I don't think I'll ever figure them out, so I'll move the bells around. This, I've tried way too long to try to fix this. Is it going to work right now because I have the camera rolling? Maybe it's enough. I see it turning. I see you turning. I can't tell you <laughs> how long I have sat here wasting, like I've literally wasted my time turning this manually, trying to get it to play. But now I see it's actually moving on its own, so we're like one step closer. You see it moving, right? Uh, this is a little large, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try it. Time to let this go. I still don't know who makes it. We're gonna let it go. Did you hear it? Huh? Did you hear it though? What, the music box? Yes. Yeah. 
Coochie, 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 coochie. That was the same one I was fiddling with, like, a I month. can see it working. I know. Did it's you... just not going fast. But it's the same one I was fiddling with, like, a month ago. Do you remember that? You walked in on me, and I was, like, messing with this music box a month ago. Yeah, I can see the little thing spinning, but it's spinning really, really slow. But it's spinning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, where were we? All right. This fish. Okay. So this fish was from Madison Balkville. Balkville. Technically, I should probably save it for the Madison Balkville sale that is on September 10th. But it's on the shelves. And we are clearing the shelves. So it will go in the sale on September 3rd. It is a decanter. Look, it even has a cork. I believe this one is Murano. But I will have to. They had they had it labeled as Murano. The quality <laughs> says that it's probably Murano. So, based on those two facts, I'm gonna say it's likely Murano. But I will research it before I list it, and I will have my final say so during the sale. So we can go off of that. Redware fish plate with the adhesive disc thing. <laughs> Trey, I have some Halloween stuff, fall stuff, down on the second tier, but that's for another day. Shelby brought me all of these little houses a while back, and I never was able to figure out where these came, like who makes these, but um, there's a bunch of them, all different shapes and sizes, no markings. We can sell all of those. There's a lot. Maybe this guy. He's probably the biggest and most intimidating of all of them. The cowboy. Let's put him on the tray. He will be sold. The elephant with the tusks. Another very intimidating Hank and Renegar. These plates. I'm not really quite sure why these are still on my shelves, honestly. I thought I photographed these and had them listed. Um, but these are Grazia Deruta, made in Italy for Neiman Marcus. Now, these are the TP plates. I actually have, and let me show you. From here. These enormous, massive platters. Do you see how big those are? <laughs> those are huge platters. Um, so these are worth quite a bit of money. I don't recall how much it's been long. It's It's been a hot minute since I've looked up comps on these. Um, but that pattern is worth a little bit. And actually, we'll look it up together. We'll look up comps together on that. This one has some crazing on it. And I think that's all I have down here. So I might have some other ones listed elsewhere, but... Um, I have two here on the shelves that probably need to move along. All right, so I came straight to Worth Point to look these up. Worth Point is a paid service that I use. It's always linked down in my YouTube description, um, and it is an affiliate link. So if you use that link to sign up for Worth Point, I do receive a small commission from Worth Point that goes to supporting this channel. Um, so here you can see in 2020, a set of four of these plates sold for $148. Um, a set of six sold for $113 in 2013. Um, there is three, maybe? Didn't really say. <laughs> maybe it's just one. I don't know. I hate when they don't put it in the description. Um, dinner plate. One dinner plate for $45 in 2019. Uh, soup, bowl, soup bowl for 20... 20 what? 29! And then in 2019, a dinner plate for $20. So those are really the only comps we have. We have two dinner plates here. Those are perfect for whatnot because I can actually show you guys the condition as I am selling them. So we'll put those up on whatnot. Alright, so here's a whole bag of trinket 
dishes or pill boxes. This is perfect for Christmas. I mean, we're a little far off, but is that a bear, maybe? I don't know. What is it marked? It is marked. <laughs> Something collection. Probably take it out of the bag. Um, Severature enamel made in England. So, a robin, some pandas, Santa, and then this egg-shaped one. So, I'll include those. I'm just going to put this over on the cart because I'm letting it go. Keep going. Unwind yourself. We want you nice and unwound. Um, so, this here, I'll sell it just to move it along. But this is better suited for a vase. This is going to be as is. I'm going to even put it in the title uh, because this is cracked. I did not realize that when I picked it up. So um, it's going to be an as is um, picture. It's hobnail, but I would stick flowers in there, use it as a vase. This was really fun. Um, I think I found this one at Coco. It's a child's toy shaped as a bunny. We all had fun playing with that when she was here at the shop. This, I think, might be Blanco, but I don't know for certain, so I will likely list this as an art glass vase. Now, these are Arcadia. So some Arcadia salt and pepper shakers can sell for a ton of money. These are just vegetables. Um, <laughs> they're red peppers. I mean, they, I think they sell for like 18 to $24. They're not crazy. But um, if you get to looking at sold comps for Arcadia salt and pepper shakers, um, you can see what I'm talking about. So uh, we're going to sell those. Here's a lighter. <laughs> I'm holding on to things that are outside my wheelhouse. And this is why I, I've come to the understanding that when I'm out and about and I'm shopping, I don't pick up things that don't excite me. Because, for instance, this lighter that is outside of my wheelhouse, I bought it thinking, oh, that's worth more than they're asking. But am I excited about it? No. <laughs> Why? Because it's outside my wheelhouse. I don't know anything about it. So it's sat. And it's sat for a really long time. And um, now I've gotten to the point where <laughs> I'm just like, when I'm out and about, this is going to sit just like that lighter. And I don't pick it up. Even though you guys in the comments are like, you could have picked that up. You could have made money on it. But you know what? It's going to sit because I'm not excited about it. Versus this, which I'm really excited about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to sell this on September 10th. <laughs> Look, I can't wait. A part of me is like, I should put this in this set. But I'm not going to. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to torture myself and I'm going to wait. But that's the difference. I'm excited about that. So I've learned to just not buy stuff that doesn't excite me because it's going to sit. <laughs> Santa Claus can wait till Christmas, obviously. <laughs> Good ball for a month. Is he missing a tail? I feel like he might be missing a tail. That's probably why he's sat. Whatever is left on these shelves, I feel like either needs to be buy it now or it needs to just go away. Obviously, he needs to go to Christmas books. This video you haven't seen yet, so the seals are just kind of hanging out. <laughs> as of the filming of this video, you haven't seen them yet. Um, you may have seen the video as it's of the posting of this. Um, these dishes in my lakeside. We can sell those. All right, so I've started putting the listings up onto whatnot. <laughs> um, I've listed these three pieces. Um, I'm photographing, I'm listing. These two, which have been sitting here forever, I decided, you know what, it makes no sense just to leave them sitting on the shelf. So I also, <laughs> the music box is just going to go the whole video. Um, I photographed these and I listed them in their respective sales. Um, so this is Rubina Verde. And it has these thorns on the side. I, you know what? I should hit this with a black light while we have it. Let's just see if that green glows. I don't think it will, but let's check. 
It does not. Okay. And the um, collar on this is silver. There's a silver marking there as well. But there's no way I'm going to just say for that. So I'm just going to call it silver. Uh, but this is Rollin Karg. That's on the paperweight sale already. So um, I'm assuming this is Bohemian. That's all I've got to go on. This I'm holding back. I'm going to see about getting this one repaired. I mentioned in a video recently, and I don't know if this is going to post after this or before this, but this is probably a couple hundred dollar paperweight if I can get this fixed. And to get this fixed is probably about $100. I've got about 40 to 50 into it. I pay $100 to get it fixed. And then it's worth a couple hundred dollars. So it's worth it to me to invest in getting this paperweight fixed of that bruise. So this one's going to sit around for a minute until I <laughs> take the steps to get it repaired. So... Um, those I'm taking care of. This cat plate. I guess we could put that on the sale. Keep spinning away, my dear. And uh, we're making good progress. So I have this bowl full of fused glass <laughs> that I've been holding on to for way too long because I had it in my hand that I was actually going to use these pieces and create. But let's face it, I don't have time to create. As much as I would love to, I don't have the time. So I'm going to pass these along to somebody who does have the time. I think these are for making hair barrettes, maybe. They have that nice curve to them. This already has a hoop to make a pendant. And there are various beads and other doodads. This one's dichroic. kind of looks like a Christmas tree. These are the plastic. But I'm just going to get rid of all of these in a lot. This. Ooh, there we go. Which is pretty bold, too. Um, the rest of it, we will let go of. I think this actually matches that, too. So I'll just show those. And I will photograph it. I just found this awesome toucan pen. And there's a bunch of other. Costume jewelry down here. I remember buying this. I actually bought this um, from a young girl who was saving money for vet school, I think. Those is those anyway. Um, these I bought somewhere else. I don't remember. But the necklaces I remember I bought <laughs> from that young girl to support her dream to become a vet. Um, but these I don't actually recall where I bought these. But aren't those neat? I can put those on sale. A toucan. And a snail with what appears to be a, a faux pearl. Mountain meadows pottery. Something to that effect. This. I bought this at Goodwill. And I remember they, uh, they charged me for it too. <laughs> I forget how much. I remember being like, really? It was like 30 bucks they charged me for this, but it was worth a bit too. This is for the tie. That's for this thing. Um, but this is a purse or something like that. I forget what exactly this was called, but I paid up for it, but it was worth it because I remembered I could still make money at whatever they charged me for it. I think they charged me 30. You may remember this. I actually bought this one from Becky's booth. It had these hard water stains in it, and I was determined that I was going to get them out and sit on the shelf for a while. I never got around to trying, <laughs> and uh, I don't think I'm going to, so I'm just going to move it along. Somebody else might um, actually get around to trying to get those hard water stains out, but I think uh, Becky said she tried a couple different things and wasn't able to get that's staining out. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Yeah, there you go. There's a better angle. It is a beautiful, beautiful uh, console bowl. A little bit larger, so I'm not sure uh, how the shipping is going to reflect that, but I'm going to stick it in here and photograph it. Um, and then I was actually just tying this up. I think it's time to let this go, too. 
this little Rosaline glass snuff bottle, I think. I don't think it's a perfume. I think it's a snuff. Pink glass. We bought that on our way back from Ohio one year. Um, so put that here. Andrew thinks we need to hold on to these Pearl Harbor glasses closer to December. So we will do that. Mom wanted this, so I'm gonna go stick that by her office for when she gets back into work. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here now. Shelby was in today um, and she processed everything that we had here at the shop. So um, I have a few boxes left in my car from yesterday that I need to unload, but otherwise we're pretty much all caught up with uh, processing, which is fantastic. I haven't been shopping very much, so uh, we don't have a whole lot. Uh, but here is what we've got out on the table. So we have all this to go through. Um, and then over here, I need to start selecting my stuff for the uh, September 10th and the 29th sale. So um, keep an eye on those sales because I'm going to start uploading stuff into those sales. I'm going to be pulling it from this, this desk right here and these two totes because that's where the paperweights live. So, on that note, I'm going to get out of here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can tune in on Sunday, September 3rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. I will put a link down below so that you guys can bookmark that sale. Um, there is a link to become a buyer and also to become a seller. And if you use my links, those are affiliate links, and I do receive a small commission from whatnot if you use my links. Um, and of course, that goes to supporting my channel. So um, I guess I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.